again and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be chatting all things Nordstrom anniversary stuff. Yes, I know we just started summer, but I would be doing you a disservice if I did not prepare you for one of the biggest sales of the year. So if you want to learn how you can maximize your shopping experience this year, then just keep on watching. Okay, I know I, I started mentioning this on Instagram and people were coming for me like, hello, we just started summer. How about we share some swimsuits? But look, the Nordstrom preview is happening later this month and I just want to make sure that you're prepared, okay? Because this sale is one of the hottest sales of the year for a good reason. So I just wanted to give you some tips that would help you out, okay? So don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to help you out, okay? I have been shopping the sale for maybe about four years now. And each year I learn something that kind of helps me out. So I took inventory of all the stuff that I have learned for the last four years and I want to be sharing that with you today. So not familiar with what the Nordstrom anniversary sale is, it is a sale that is exclusive to Nordstrom. They have deep discounts on new items. Now, usually when there's a sale, it's because it's like the end of the season, things that you're probably not gonna be wearing anytime soon. So that's why they're discounted. But this sale is actually on new items for the new seasons. So yes, midsummer is whenever we're gonna be shopping for things that we are gonna be wearing in the fall. So these are new items that are coming out fall items. So think boots, blazers, jackets, pants, denim, discounted up to like 40% off. Great time to stock up on items that maybe you're like looking to purchase. For instance, like last year I purchased these boots, which, you know, I didn't get much use out of them to be honest, just because I live in Houston and it's like a gajillion degrees, like 365. So we don't get a lot of cold weather, but I'm hoping that maybe this year I'll be able to get um, a little bit more wear from these. So starting off with tip number one, that's going to be take inventory of your closet. So head over to your closet. You don't have to do it right now. We don't want to waste our money, obviously. So we want to make sure that we're looking at our closet and the things that we already have that we can wear again. For you, I have a free downloadable checklist for your fall and winter wardrobe essentials. So I have it linked in the section down below. Again, it is a free download that you can print out. Just head over to your closet and check off whatever you already have and maybe like highlight things that maybe you need to update. Things like their jackets. So I've had this leather jacket from Topshop that I purchased in, in Nordstrom, not during the sale, but just at Nordstrom. But I've had this jacket for probably four years. Still a good condition. It's a vegan leather, leather jacket. I love it. I get so many compliments off of it and I just love it. So things like this that you're gonna be wearing year after year after year, are great pieces that maybe if you don't have in your closet, that might be something that you want to shop for. Also worth mentioning is that there is other items besides clothing that is included in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. There is home decor, there's beauty, um, what else, home essentials, blankets, um, just an array of things. Obviously men and kids fashion is also on sale. So there's gonna be a plethora of stuff for you to choose from. So maybe clothing is not your thing, but home decor is, then you can always check that out as well. Okay, and tip number two would be set your budget. It can be very tempting to go into the sale just crazy and wanting to pick out everything and purchase everything, but y'all, let's be realistic, okay? We need to set a budget, okay? At least I know I do. So I set myself a budget and I kind of narrow it down whenever the preview comes out and I look for the things that I absolutely need. Now, yes, of course, we all want a bunch of stuff, but if you're like me and you're on a, a budget, then you need to be very strategic on where those dollars go. So if it's gonna be an item that I'm gonna wear repeatedly again and again, that's something that I might allocate a little bit more funds to. Setting a budget is gonna keep you from regretting your purchases a few months down the road. So trust me, do it. Number three is gonna be get familiar with the Nordstrom credit card. Now, as a banker, I cannot advocate that you go and open up a credit card solely for the purpose of shopping this event. But if you're looking to build credit and you are very responsible and very good about paying off your debt, then that might be a way to go. Now, the card is not only going to give you points on whenever you start making purchases, but depending on how many points you accumulate within the year, maybe if you get a card now, it's not going to really help you out. But within a year, depending on the amount that you spend, that would put you in a different category or tier um, for the nursery anniversary sale. So 
Um, I have more details on the blog post, which I have linked down below. So if you want to read about the different tiers and how much money you have to spend in order to be on that tier, then go ahead and check that blog post out. And really the tiers just give you access to more exclusive sales events, including the nurture anniversary sale, meaning the more you spend, the sooner that you can shop. And number four is stay on top of the anniversary preview. So the preview is happening later this month on June 29th. That is when Nordstrom will release the items. They are going to be on sale. Now, if you decide to shop it right then and there, you're going to pay full price. This is a great time to kind of look through the inventory and see the items that maybe catch your eye, which leads me to tip number five, and that is to start adding items to your wish list. Whenever the preview comes out, I start basically adding items to my wish list. It's going to help me narrow down the items that I like. Now, obviously the first thing I do is start clicking everything that I like. And then I give it a couple of days to kind of mull over and say, okay, do really need this item? Or maybe an alternative that is a lesser price that looks similar that maybe I can add instead of this item. Um, you know, whenever you buy something and then you have buyer's remorse when you take it home, now obviously you're not taking your wish list items home, but if you keep it in your wish list long enough, then you start mulling it over and you're like, okay, maybe this is not something that I need right now. Or maybe it's an item that you found at another retailer for a cheaper price that you rather get instead. Tip number six is going to be to sign up for my newsletter. Now I like to keep my readers and subscribers on top of all things Nordstrom sell so that you don't miss anything. I like to send out outfit ideas. I'll be sending out restocks and anything else that's included with the Nordstrom sell. Head down below in the description box where I have the link. And if you sign up, you will also be getting that free fall, winter, wardrobe checklist straight to your inbox. Number seven is going to be identify your own style. So I know that I will be sharing outfit inspirations and there might be other influencers sharing their hits. I almost feel like there's some items in the sale that just like every influencer is sharing. And I, I, I too have been <laughs> guilty of purchasing and being influenced and only to get the item and just not being in love with it. So definitely you want to identify your own personal style. I know it can be really hard to, when you see the same boot across Instagram and you'd be very tempted to purchase it. But like I said, if something that is like extremely like not your style, don't just buy it because it's popular. Okay. Don't make the same mistake that I did. If it's something that maybe you want to try, then that might be something you can buy. Now, the good thing is you can always return. And tip number eight and my final tip is have fun. Okay. At the end of the day, this is just a sale. Sales happen again and again and again. And if it's an item that maybe you weren't able to purchase, chances are give it a couple of months and it might be on sale again. Items do sell pretty fast, but if you wait a couple of weeks after the sale has concluded, a lot of people are going to be returning items and then you might be able to repurchase it then. Now, obviously not at the sale price, but if it's something that you really have your heart set on, then you might be able to purchase it. Well, I hope these tips were helpful for you. I know that these are things that would have made my shopping experience a little better in the past but it's fine. We live and learn. And now, you know, so give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below, what is something that you're going to be shopping for this year or this fall? It doesn't necessarily have to be Nordstrom. Just what are you looking for this year? I'd love to help you out with any styling suggestions. So just leave them down below. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about styling tips and beauty, and that's all I got for you. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.